Hello, Stan from GPT for Sheets. Um, today, I'm very excited to teach you how to clean your spreadsheets very easily with uh, our product, GPT for Sheets. So there is uh, two main functions that will help you do that. The first one is GPT Fill, which is quite magical and works from examples. And the second one is GPT Format, which is um, a bit more, uh, which only works on one item uh, at a time. So, um, okay, let's jump straight into it. Uh, GPT fill. So here we have a list of names, uh, which is uh, completely unsanitized. As you can see, um, some of them are capitalized, some are not, uh, some uh, have a title, some don't, uh, some have emojis, some don't. So, okay, what I really want is to have a list of clean full names like here. So I give two examples. Uh, and I want to extract both the full name and the title if it exists. So I give a few examples and then all I need to do is GPT fill. And I give the examples here. And then I give the range that needs to be uh, uh, cleaned. And there we go. I get the full names correctly and then uh, the titles for those who have a title. So it worked perfectly. Very, very uh, efficient. Let's now see another examples. Another example, sorry. Oh, here we go. So this is a list of emails, contains many mistakes um, so, and weird characters. Uh, so I wanna extract all the, the addresses from this. So again, I will do GPT fill. I will give it uh, three examples this time and then give it the range that needs to be cleaned and let's go. Okay, so as you can see, it removed all the weird uh, things that are around email addresses. When there was a comma here, it got removed. Um, here, uh, the two dots got converted to one dot. Uh, there's actually one mistake here, which is this one did not get converted to uh, will.com. So this is uh, quite strange. Um, okay, this is a problem, in fact. So what we're going to do is we are going to add an example um, so that we teach. Uh, okay, let me remove this for now. We're going to add an example where, okay, we're Okay, here we'll do uh, something else and foo.bar and then this should become foo.bar at blah, blah, dot com. Okay, um, and then GPT fill of that and that and let's see how it goes this time. Okay, this time it uh, correctly added the dot between will and com here. So um, this is actually a good uh, example for me to explain that you do you do need to give a few examples. Sometimes you you will need to give more examples uh, if the task is difficult uh, or if it keeps making mistakes. The more examples you give, the better it will be. Uh, but usually like just a few two to three or four examples are, are more than enough for most uh, tasks, uh, cleaning tasks I've observed. As you can as you could see in the names, um, I only had to give two examples uh, and it did the work perfectly for both the full name, the capitalization and the title. So number of example varies and uh, please experiment. I think it's actually good that this happened during the video so that I could show you a little bit of how this works with trial and error. Okay, let's see another example now. Um, so addresses, as you can see, like I have a list of addresses that are formatted differently. Uh, some have a full state name, some don't, some don't even have a state. Um, and the street uh, type is also not always very clear. So let's, you know, the drill by now. So I give an example and then the addresses need to be formatted and there we go. All the addresses are now good. Okay. 
So dates, dates are really a pain in the ass um, uh, in spreadsheets if they are not in the correct format. So here I've got a bunch of dates and I will clean them all. This is the format I want. Uh, so I just give the example and then I give the range. Okay, there we go. Uh, as you can see, with all the varied formats, it worked perfectly. Um, okay, and you can actually check out that these are real dates because if now I use the formatting feature of Google Sheets and let's say that I want the dates in this format, it converts all of them in this format. So they are real data objects uh, on which you can work on. So that's really good. Um, okay, now let's do amounts. So here I've got a bunch of amounts with both the currency uh, code, I mean uh, symbol and an amount. And I want to extract both the amount and the currency. So I give two examples here and then I use GPT fill. And okay, I actually have an example that's duplicates and I'll just remove this. And there we go. Um, I've got all the amounts that are, that are correct, uh, even for a sentence, and all the currency codes that are correct. So, very powerful. Okay, and I think that's it for GPT fill. Uh, so, GPT fill works very well when you have some examples and you have a fixed range that you want to fill. Now, let's say that you do not have examples or you want to be able to drag the formula down for each new example. Uh, so we have a GPT format function for this, uh, for which I actually have a dedicated video, but I'll show it to you again here. Um, so it works cell by cell, unlike GPT fill. So I put here, so with dates, I put the format and also for format you need, since you're not giving an example, you need to tell it like what to do. So here I will say that I want an ISO date format. And I can now drag this down. This is the power of it. So that now let's say I add one more here. I can drag it again. And it works perfectly. Again, these are real date objects. I will show you, prove it to you by okay, customizing the, the date here, for date format. So let's say I want this format and there we go. Okay. So we can also do casing, um, case, case cleaning. So let's say that I have a, a text here and I want to change its case. Uh, this can be very annoying to do manually so uh, we call gpt format to the rescue and put my input here and then i say that i want it in title case and there we go uh and i'm gonna i'm gonna drag the formula down i will just fix vertically the input text by adding a dollar and now i will drag it down Okay, so we've got the sentence case here. Uh, we've got where you see it added a, a dot. It capitalized only the first word. Uh, lowercase, uppercase, camel case, snake case, kebab case. So yeah, works. Works. Seems like it works great. Um, okay, and even it can even do like more than just casing, but actual encodings. As you can see, the GPT format function is, is very uh, uh, versatile. So, okay, let's see the uh, currency amount example again. So here, GPT format, the inputs. And like for dates, I now need to say it what I want. So ISO currency is what I will tell it. And Okay, so difference with um, GPT fill is with GPT format, you cannot get multiple values from a single input, okay? Uh, I think that's important to clarify if you want uh, several 
values like we had here or with the amounts um, here uh, you will need to use gpt fill or um, the gpt extract function that i will present soon okay okay so yeah we can do the phone numbers as well gpt format input and then international phone number track it down okay everything's clean cleaning company names so gpt format of the inputs and then uh, company name thou legal entity suffix okay it removed the gmbh here and then let's drag this down and there we go uh I we got all the clean company names okay i think that's it um so i found i find these two functions gpt formats and GPT fill extremely powerful for cleaning, formatting, standardizing the spreadsheet data. I hope uh, you like those functions. You find them useful. Please comment under the video uh, if you have a question. If you, uh, and if you see something that doesn't work, uh, it really helps us improve the product. Uh, 